previously with Rob and Sherry, they place an offer on a boat and meet with Three Tails RV at Caveman Kitchen in Kent, Washington. In this episode, Rob and Sherry's bid for the new boat is accepted and Rob gets to run around and picking up the trailer. Hi guys, this is Rob on day seven. I'm um, down in Kent, Washington. I uh, just took Sherry to the airport this morning. I would have taped more of that, but she uh, we woke up a little late, so we had to dash out of here. So today, uh, um, I heard that we have uh, we purchased a boat, and today is kind of a coordination day. So we made an offer that was accepted. Uh, the trailer, this is a big boat. It has a very big trailer. So my stipulation on the uh, on that boat was more on safety on that trailer so the trailer has been taken to it's, it's a tough trailer and it's uh it's called tough <laughs> anyway it's a tough trailer anyway and it's pretty mammoth and uh so since i got to travel 12,000 mi- uh, 1200 miles with it uh, i'm having them uh, go through the brakes and the bearings and this all the safety things on the trailer it also has electric brakes um, and I, I I'm paying for that part so uh, the the owner of the boat actually took it over the tough trailers which just happens to be in Bellingham Washington and so uh, and I'm having a spare tire added to it this thing's a, a triaxle trailer it's um, to carry a thir- 28 foot boat uh, with a nine foot beam so it's a big boat so we want to be really safe so that's what's going on today Sherry uh, also confirmed that she got back to Arizona safely and my job this week is to coordinate getting all that trailer working and and uh, paperwork's going through with the bank and all that stuff so it's kind of boring but it's got to be done and uh, we'll start getting more pictures for you of what's going on there so Anyway, that's the update. This is day seven, and uh, we'll tell you more as we go. Well, hello everybody. It's day eight. Kind of skipped seven a little bit there. Um, kind of in waiting mode still. I'm up in Anacortes, and uh, you can kind of see the boats out there. And just relaxing with Cinder. We went to the dog park. Um, the boat is processing. Uh, the trailer that for this gigantic boat is actually being um, uh, looked over to make sure all the bearings are good and all the brakes are good and uh, the um, electric brakes are working properly so uh, (laughs) until that's done I don't want to tow that boat so I'm just killing time up in Washington Sherry's at home in Arizona and so uh, the worst part about this whole thing is the cost of motels so I'm really looking forward to not paying for motels for a while but anyway that's where we're at so far this is day eight and uh if i see something pretty i'll get a picture of it but we're just letting the time go by and then uh, the videos will get interesting so bye for now so for the last few days and the next day to come bureaucracy was definitely taking its toll so rob was spending a lot of times (laughs) going through parks and taking Cinder for walks and killing time for about three days. And uh, this is just some shots of Anacortes and some of the boating life going on. And it was a beautiful day, so sit back, enjoy. Guys, this is going to wrap up day eight. Not lost, <laughs> not too thrilling this time. Uh, we have a room up here in Bellingham. Just a little thing. And uh, uh, just me and Cinder. And uh, 
tomorrow hopefully we'll get some more news about the trailer being ready to go and uh, uh boat being ready to go <laughs> and hurry up and wait type thing so i got to do what you got to do what are you doing you like, shh, I, think, I think you like the bed is it okay the bed okay the bed's okay well it's day nine guys and uh, i'm just sitting in the motel working on videos and getting ready to work on rv talk radio also and uh not a whole lot going on today either um basically what's going on is uh when you finance something that takes time for the paperwork to go through and the trailer is the big thing they're working on that um i'm paying for that um because i did a when I bought the boat, I asked for less money. So, in return, I told him I want I want the trailer at 100% because I got to travel about 1,200 miles with it. So, uh, I am having a lot of brake drums replaced and all the electronics checked on. It does have electronic brakes, and uh, since it's a six-year-old trailer um, and it's been put in salt water a couple times, there's a few things corroded. So, we're being really safe, and I want to make sure it's a tip-top trailer. Luckily, when I take it down to Arizona, it's fresh water I'm going to use uh, when I put it in the water. So I think we're going to Lake Powell with it. So we'll see what's going on from there, but not a big eventful day again. And that's just how it is during the process. The bad part is I have to sit up here and keep paying for motel rooms while I kind of wait. So me and Cinder um, are going to dog parks a lot <laughs> and eating at McDonald's a lot. So that's all I got for you. I want to thank you very much for subscribing. Please take the time to like our videos and share our videos. And stay tuned because the transport is going to be amazing. Because this is a very large trailer, very large boat. And I've got a long ways to go and I really am quite nervous about it. So anyway, stay tuned guys. Bye. Next on Robin Shuri. Rob takes possession of the boat, and the trip back to Arizona begins. Thank you for watching our videos. Please take the time to subscribe and consider being a Patreon supporter. There is many more adventures and some big surprises coming in the future with your help. Thanks again.